to know what kind of blessing he's going to bless him with. Yeye aliachilia Mungu akamwamulie aina za baraka ambaza atampatia. He left to God for the when, how, where the blessings will come from. Akaachia Mungu kuchagua ni wakati gani, ni wapi na ni vipi baraka zitakuja kwake. But he asked. Lakini kitu alifanya ni kuuliza. So I want to submit to you that uh, as Matthew 7:7 7, 7 says. Kwa hivyo nataka kuwaleteni ya kwamba vile Mathayo 7:7 7 inavyosema, Ask and it shall be given. Uliza Thank nawe you. utapewa. Seek and you shall find. Tafuta utapata. Knock and the door will be open. Bisha nao mlango utafunguliwa. So if you have a relationship with God, iwapo una uhusiano mwema na Mungu. He encourages us. Yeye anatuhimiza to approach the throne of grace. Ku, ku, kuenda katika kiti cha neema to seek mercy kutafuta rehema and that will find the ya, blessings. Na kisha tutapata hizo baraka. So you can confidently go because your sins have been forgiven. God sees you through Jesus Christ. Kwa hivyo unaweza kwa ujasiri kwenda kwa sababu dhambi zako zimesamehewa na anakuona kupitia Kristo Yesu. And whatever you ask in his name in Christ Jesus name. Na chochote unachouliza kwa jina lake kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. God says he will grant it. Naye Mungu anasema atakupatia. Amina. There are some blessings that will not come unless you ask. Kuna bara, aina za baraka ambazo haziwezi kuja isipokuwa kwa kuuliza. So I want to summarize the blessing by saying Nataka kutamatisha baraka kwa kusema In my opinion katika kufikiria kwangu being blessed indeed kubarikiwa kweli kweli is like the way 1 Timothy 6 6 Vi, ni vile Timotheo wa kwanza 6 6 it says that godliness with contentment is great gain Inasema Uungu na kutosheka ni kitu cha muhimu. And that is why all of you who defined being blessed indeed, like mama you started by saying it is being a Christian salvation, you know. If, 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 you know if you have that godliness, iwapo una uungu, it is great gain. Ni faida kubwa. Inatoshelesha. Inatosheleza. You don't have to be hyper looking for this there what. Yaani usiwe mtu wa kutafuta kila kitu wakati wote pamoja. If you have God, iwapo una Mungu and you have peace with God. Na una amani na Mungu and he will he, you know, he works out all things for you. Atafanya kazi kwa ajili yako na kukupatia. Nawe utatosheka. And that is blessing indeed. Na hiyo ndio kubarikiwa kweli kweli. Then material blessing just kidogo I touch on it. Na nitazungumzia kidogo kuhusu eh, baraka za vitu. And Luke 6:38 Katika Luka 6:38 It talks of give and it shall be given to you. Inasema peana nawe utapewa. Full measure. Kiwa, ye, kipimo kikubwa. Press down. Kime finyiliwa. Shaken together. Kime sindiliwa. Running over. Na kisha kime furika. So the fact that Javez was more honorable than others. Sababu ya bezi alikuwa mebarikua na kuheshimika kuliko wengine. I'm imagining that he was full of these material blessings. Nina fikiria kwamba alikuwa mejawa na hizi baraka. Land. Shamba. Whatever. Chochote kile. Food. Chakula. You could not go to his house. Hunge lienda kwa nyumba yake. And find nothing. Na ukose kitu. For the food, the, you know, he, he had in a bad as it was pressed together, shaken, running over. He alikuwa na utele. Kili, kipima ambacho kimesindiriwa na kinafurika. You know what? Unajua nini? The secret to having... Siri ya kupata ama kuwa navyo it's giving ni kutoa amina i'm telling you ninakwambia the other day my purse was empty yani siku ile ingine kibeti changu kilikuwa bure and then i received some money kisha nikapokea pesa and yesterday as we were traveling I, 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 i wanted something and the person who was driving me 
says uh, I'll buy for you. Na nilipokuwa nasafiri kuna kitu nilikuwa nacho na haja na mwenye alikuwa akiniendesha akasema nitakununulia. But I, th- I said you know what yesterday this bus was empty. Na nikamwambia jana unajua kibeti yangu haikuwa na pesa. And now it has. Na sasa hivi niko nayo. And I need to empty it. Natakana niotoe hizi pesa so that it keeps on ili t- pia ya, il, ingine, pesa ingine ingie ndani That's the life that I have known Hiyo ndio maisha ambayo nimeyafahamu I have lived by faith Nimeishi kwa imani And I have known God to supply Na ninajua Mungu wa kututualia Many times people have said money is power Mara nyingi watu husema pesa ni uweza. It's a capital and it's powerful. Yaani ni, ni cha mwanzilishi wa kitu na ni ya nguvu. It buys you way. Yaani inakununulia njia ya kupita. It opens door for you. Inafungua milango kwa ajili yako. But I always differed. Na lakini kila wakati natafautiana nao. And we have had many arguments with Na tumekuwa na kubishana kwingi na ma- ma- baadhi yao. And I have told them there is something that is very powerful that you know nothing of. Na nimewaambia kuna kitu cha muhimu cha nguvu ambacho hamjawahi kukijua. And that is faith. Na hiyo kitu kinaitwa imani. Yes. Are you Ina. hearing me? Yes. What is faith? Imani ni nini? Not seen. Yes. Evidence of things not seen. Amen. And imagine I, I am I am arguing with people who have prados, what not, everything, and they are telling me what, and me have nothing, and I'm telling them my faith. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. My faith Imani yangu. is more powerful than all of nguvu kupita maprado na vile vitu na jivuna nazo. And so there have been incidences Kwa hivyo kumekua na matukio where I have had to speak out by faith Nimenibidi niongee kwa imani that this and this and this is will be like this this not even not even will be i have this and this and this kuna mara nyingi nimesema nitakuwa na hii na hii na hii niko na hii na hii na thank you niko na hii na hii na kile and i draw the picture nami ninachora taswia yake kabisa and i show them i have this na naonyesha hakika niko na hii tayari and one or two would keep on asking me where is it can we come and see na moja watu wawili wanaweza kuniuliza iko wapi hiki kitu tukuje tuone and i'll say it's there ninge na mimi nasema iko and at last na hatimaye I one day called them and said come and see. Nimewaita siku moja nikawaambia njooni muone. And the picture was like the way Moses was given the the picture of the tabernacle on the mountain. It was exactly the way I had said. Na picha ama tasira yake ilikuwa sawa sawa na kile nilikuwa nimewaonyesha vile Mosa alikuwa ameonyesha maskani ya Mungu akiwa kule mlimani. So my sister I'm trying to tell you. Kwa hivyo dada yangu najaribu kukuambia. We have a very powerful tool that we know nothing of. Tuna na ki, kitu kikubwa ama silaha kubwa ambayo hatuielewi. We have a very powerful tool that we are not using. Tuna kitu kikubwa ama eh, you know ki, eh, tool kubwa ambayo hatuelewi kuihusu. The day we'll learn how to release it. Wakati tutaelewa jinsi ya kuachilia. There'll be a whole change kutakuwa na mabadiliko makubwa and huge revival na hata uvuvio mkubwa because we are told the just shall live by faith maana tunaambiwa wenye haki wataishi kwa imani why would god pick on faith if it's not powerful mbona mungu anaweza kuchagua imani iwapo haina nguvu it is very powerful ndio ni ya muhimu na ni ya nguvu therefore kwa hivyo learn to give jifundishe kutoa give peana you cannot outbeat god hauwezi kumshinda mungu give we peana and trust him nawe umwamini mungu by faith kwa imani and see things happen na utaona mambo yakifanyika again in matthew 6 katika matayo 6 33 
33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness na haki yake. and all these things will be added unto na hizi vitu zote you. You know this is a conclusion of a discourse yani hii ni tamati ama mwisho wa jambo where Jesus was telling the it was like a sermon ilikuwa kama eh, umahubiri and he's saying why are you worried about what you'll eat or drink or wear na nauliza kwa nini mna wasiwasi na kile mtakula kuvaa na kufanya because the birds of the air don't even sow maana hata ndege waangani hawafanyi hivyo the lilies in the valleys are clothed and they don't toil na hata maua katika bonde zina 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 zimenawiri na hazifanyi kazi. So why are you worried? Sasa kwa nini na mbona wewe uko na wasiwasi? What you will eat? Kila ambacho utakula. Man if you listen to the news the economy is you cannot you you cannot even mm. think of living for tomorrow. Yaani ukisikia kuhusu vile ma, maisha inaenda hauwezi kufikiria kama kesho utakuwepo. That there will even be a Kenya tomorrow. Ya kwamba kutakuwa na Kenya kesho. Eh, there is no money. Hakuna pesa. But why do you worry? Na je, mbona uwe na wasiwasi? Eh? If the birds are provided with food. Iwapo ndege wanapewa tu chakula. Why are you worried? Mbona una wasiwasi? You know it's your position that matters. Yaani ni mahali ambapo umesimamia ndio ya muhimu. Are you a child of God? Je, wewe ni mwana wa Mungu? Are, you, are your sins forgiven? Je, dhambi zako zimesamehewa? Do you, do you have peace with God? Je, una amani na Mungu? So he says, why do you worry? Basi anauliza mbona una wasiwasi? Seek ye first my kingdom. Tafuta kwanza ufalme wangu. When you are in this kingdom, ukiwa katika ufalme wa Mungu, he prepares a table for you. Ataandaa meza mbele yako. It is his work. Hiyo ndio kazi yake. It is his delight. Hiyo ndio furaha yake. To do all that. Kufanya hayo yote. Therefore, Amina. For you to prosper and be blessed even materially. Kwa hivyo kubarikiwa na hata kufanikiwa katika hali ya mambo ya kawaida, release it. Wewe achilia and you will see how God will bless you. Nawe utaona jinsi Mungu atakavyokubariki. Amassing of properties and uh, materials kuwa na utele wa baraka ama vitu za kawaida can only be a blessing indeed. Inaweza kuwa baraka kweli kweli if it's going to serve God's purpose in your generation. Amen. Iwapo itafanya kazi kwa ajili ya Mungu na kazi yake. Don't amass all this for yourself. Usijirundikie mali kwa ajili yako mwenyewe. Because it will bring you problems. Maana mwisho wake itakuletea shida. Amass it for God's kingdom. Wewe jikusanyie lakini kwa kusudi ya kazi ya Mungu. Amen. Amen. Now just one last point then we'll go leave ya kipengele cha mwisho na kisha tutamalizia. Jarvis talked of enlarging his, his territory. Naye Jabez akazungumzia kuhusu kupanua hema zake. And if you look at territory, ukiangalia kwa ajili ya hema ama mpaka, uh, it, I, I want to to look at it from a different perspective nataka ni niangalie kwa njia ingine. not just the uh, land you know enlarging of land si kwa sababu tu ya kupanuliwa kwa shamba but i'll talk it from a different perspective nitaiongea kwa namna nyingine when god created man wakati mungu alipomuumba mwanadamu he said Let us make man akasema tumfanye mwanadamu in our own image kwa sura yetu after our own likeness na hata mfano wetu and let them have dominion na wawe na uta, kutawala ama kumiliki over the seas the, the, the fish in the sea whatever and bahari the na land. samaki na vyote vinavyojazwa ndani yake your territory is your authority Yaani mpaka wako ni mamlaka yako. Your territory is your sphere of influence. Ma, eh, eh, mpaka wako ni maeneo yako ya kuadhiri. 
We have been created in the image and likeness of God. Tumeumbwa katika mfano na sura ya Mungu. And we are supposed to have dominion. Na yatupasa tuwe na utawala. So in your territory, katika maeneo yako, it is where you operate and where you influence. Ni mahali ambapo nafanyia kazi na kuadhiri. Abraham was told Abraham akaambiwa in the, uh, Genesis 12 eh, mwanzo 12 go out from your people toka ndani ya watu wako and i will show you to a land where i'll show you nami nitakuelekeza kwa inchi nitakupatia inchi ambayo nakupeleka so this man walked and was trusting god to take him to a land where he did not know Kwa hivyo huyu mtu akaamini na akaanza kwenda kwa inchi ambayo hakuelewa. And I will make you a great nation. Naye Mungu akamwambia nitakufanya kuwa taifa kubwa. And when he went, na alipoenda, although he lived in tents, japo kuwa aliishi katika hema, he knew this is the land that God has promised him. Alielewa kwamba hii ndio inchi Mungu ameniaidia. And he had territory and influence over the natives there. Naye akawa na kuadhiri katika maeneo hayo. And then in Joshua, na katika kitabu cha Joshua, 1 and 3, moja tatu, he's, he's, he's encouraged and told, yeye anahimizwa na kuambiwa. I have given you every place that the sole of your feet will step. Nimekupatia kila sehemu ambao miguu zako zitakanyaga. And this meant it's an authority. Hii limaanisha ni mamlaka. How do you take up a place? Utachukuaje mahali without an, without a, a flexing your influence? Pasipo kuwa na uweza wa kuadhiri. Uh, when when I used to be uh, nini, uh, running programs. Nilipokuwa Ninasimamia programs ratba one of the definition that i used to like of who a manager of management is of what management is moja wapo ya vitu ambavyo nilipendelea kuhusu usimamizi that it is management is the coordination of all the available resources yani kusimamia ni kuweka pamoja kila kitu na rasilimali za mahali hapo and those available resources are man na rasilimali hizo ni mtu ama watu uh, money pesa material uh, vitu vya kutumika and the space and all that na hata nafasi you know making decision at every stage yani kufanya uamuzi katika kila eneo and to achieve the overall objective ili kupata maono ama kufikia maono chanzo cha maono and in, in, in that there was there is the planning the leading the coordination and the organization na katika hiyo kuna mipangilio na kuunganisha na hata kufanya kazi and so whenever i'm like recruiting or having a job nini a position to recruit na iwapo ningelikuwa na nafasi ya kuajiri i would have to ask myself do I have an office for this person? Kitu ya kwanza ni kujiuliza kama niko na nafasi ya huyu mtu kukaa. Is there a space atakaa wapi? Mm. Which is convenient, you know, where do they stay at, at the gate or in an office or where, you know? Ni mahali gani inawafaa ama inafaa huyu mtu nataka kuajiri? And then I would put a job description. Na kisha ningelieleza kazi ya huyu mtu. He is not just coming to sit there ha, nothing. Haji tu kukaa na kustarehe pale hapana. I'm saying this is the work you are going to do. Basi ninanukuu kila ambacho atakuwa atafanya. And from this time to this time this na kuweka hata wakati wa kufanya hilo jambo. And then the standards that we are agreeing upon. Na hata eh, vipimo ambavyo tutakubaliana kwavyo. And if you don't perform well according to the standards I'll show you. Na iwapo hautatimiza na kufikia kiwango ambacho tunataka basi wewe utatoka. I'm saying this to say. Ninasema haya kusema we have been made in the image and likeness of God. Tumefanya katika umbo na mfano wa Mungu. And we can make a difference. Na tunaweza kufanya utafauti. If we use that dominion that we've been given. Iwapo tutatumia mamlaka ambayo tumepewa. The authority that we've been given. Mamlaka ambayo tumepewa. 
and you use it for the glory of God. Na kisha unaitumia kwa utukufu wa Mungu. So that systems are in place. Ili ya kwamba mifumo ziwe katika nafasi yake. And people work coordinatedly. Na watu wanafanya kazi kwa kuingiana. So that you are not doing my job at my time and so forth. Ili ya kwamba usiingilia kufanya kazi yangu kwa wakati wangu badala ya kufanya yako. So Jabez kwa hivyo Yabezi asked for the enlargement of his territory. Aliuliza kupanuliwa kwa mipaka zake ama hema zake. And if you see like the translation that was given by the Chaldeans transla- translations. Na kama utaona tafsiri ya Wakaldayo, they say that this scripture say, reads like enlarge my borders. Panua mipaka zangu with disciples na wanafunzi which implies that ambaye inamaanisha Jabez desire ya bezi tamanio ya ya bezi for more territory in terms of maybe land kwa kupaniliwa kwa mipaka huenda ikawa ni mashamba it was not only to displace the wicked sio ilikuwa haikukuwa ya kwamba kuwaondoa wale waovu but it was in the furtherance of God's kingdom lakini ilikuwa ni kwa ajili ya kupanua ufalme wa Mungu because he, he wanted a place where he can have his disciples you know to enlarge the disciples maana alitaka nafasi ya kupanua wanafunzi wake Jabez was asking God Ya bezi alikuwa akimuuliza Mungu to please expand my opportunities Ya kwamba ongeza fursa zangu and impact na hata kuadhiri in such a way that katika njia ambayo I touch more lives niguze nafsi ama maisha mingi for your glory kwa utukufu wa Mungu let me do more for you wacha nifanye zaidi mingi zaidi kwa ajili yako and that is our cry na hiyo ndio kilio chetu we should stop hii mambo ya kupambana na mashamba korekea mi majuko kuremba na chikira mirembe and uh, you know the the, uh, the 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 boundary should have been here and this one has passed then what you know rwako rwange rwenyekana robeja hawa sundi ba medi ya ho we should be looking for opportunities to expand tutafute fursa ama nafasi za kupanua the ministry huduma amen for the glory of god kwa utukufu wa mungu that is only how you will get how you will be blessed indeed hivyo ndivyo utakavyobarikiwa kweli kweli and not holding on to that na sio kushikilia tu na kukuamia vitu there is a question that is asked in luke 18 kuna swala ambalo linaulizwa katika kitabu cha luka mtakatifu 18 and verse 8 na mstari ni nane when the son of man comes Wakati mwana wa Mungu anapokuja shall he find faith on the earth je atapata imani duniani Namaski. hata nami nauliza are we ready because we je. don't know when the son of man will come je tuko tayari maana hatuelewi hatujui siku mwana wa Mungu atakaporudi and our bishop when he began this year na askofu wetu alipoanza mwaka huu he told us to occupy alituambia tumilki until he comes hadi atakapokuja be busy uwe mtu wa shughuli busy in the kingdom of god ukifanya shughuli katika ufalme wa mungu be released yani we uwe huru have peace uwe na amani with god naye mungu let your standing be good with god wacha msimamo wako na mungu uwe sawa sawa be a christian uwe mkristo know how to pray uelewe jinsi ya kuomba and enter into the blessings of god na uingie katika baraka za mungu where you are blessed indeed mahali unabariki kiwa kweli kweli Amen Amina Let me see by a show of hands Nione kwa ishara ya mkono How many of us are willing to enter into that blessing Wangapi wana hiari ya kuingia katika hizo baraka How many of us Na wangapi wetu are going to address forgiveness Wanaenda kukabiliana na kusamaha na msamaha I mean sorry address forgiveness Yaani unakabiliana na hii roho ya msamaha so that you are blessed indeed ili ya kwamba ubarikiwe kweli kweli amen amina i want to invite i saw bishop pasia
Niliona askofu akiingia. Come and close for us, Bishop. Tunasihi baba askofu aje kutamatisha. Tupigie Yesu makofi, encourage him as he comes. Na nipiga makofi, piga makofi, piga makofi, piga makofi.